Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas here and today I'm going to show you how you prepare your water when you're doing an Ebru marbling, which is the Turkish form of marbling. Preparing your water for this art form is incredibly important to how your artwork will turn out. So it is super simple, but it is a very important step that you need to do if you are going to be doing the Ebru, Ebru style of marbling. First thing you need is carrageenan, which is a powder and it's made out of seaweed and you mix this powder into your water and this helps thicken your water enough so that way the inks will sit on the surface instead of dropping to the bottom of your tray. Now that I've explained why this process is so important, let's get started into how you do this. So the first step you're going to need is some distilled water or filtered water so you can use either bottled water or you can use a filter jug like I did and then I boil my kettle you need to make sure that you've got soft water and not hard water and by that certain places in the world the way that they treat their tap water can create it and make it hard water which can create lime scale and it can affect how the quality of your prints will turn out so if you want, you can either use bottled water or a filter jug. And then I've seen a few different people suggest boiling the water as well because it helps purify even more. But not everyone does that and it's not an absolute must-do step. So once you've got your water, you then need to mix it in with your carrageenan powder. This powder will go lumpy at first, as you can see in this video but you just need to keep mixing it for a good 10 to 15 minutes. For the video, I just did it in with a handheld whisk, but normally I like to use uh, my mixer and that way I can walk away and I don't have to whisk it for 10 to 15 minutes myself. I can just leave my whisk on. To work out how much carrageenan powder you need for your water, you just need to read the manufacturer's instructions. So mine said I needed 2.5 teaspoons to one gallon of water, which is approximately in the metric system, 3.78 liters. So once you have mixed it in for 10 minutes to 15 minutes, you'll still have a few lumps, but not as many as you did when you first started. All you need to do is then leave it for 24 hours so I just left it overnight and you'll find that all of those little lumps will actually dissolve and you'll have a really nice thick water that you can use to start your marbling on. Thank you so much for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button as it helps YouTube show this video to more people. If you're new to my channel and you've not yet subscribed, don't forget to do so as I post new videos all the time and hit that bell to get the notifications. If you would like to see a full beginner's guide to Turkish marbling, then please let me know in the comment box below so that way I can film one for you. I hope you guys have a great day.